Access includes a utility named Compact and Repair Database. File-based databases such as Access need such a utility to avoid data corruption, optimize performance, and reduce file sizes. There are several approaches to compacting and repairing a database. You can select the Compact on Close Database option if you want to automatically compact and repair a database when it is closed. Setting this option affects only the database that is currently open. On the ribbon, select File, click on Options. The Access Options dialog box opens. Select Current Database to display the configuration settings for the current database. Under Application Options, check Compact on Close and click on OK to confirm the change. Access displays a message you must close and reopen the current database for the specified option to take effect. Click on OK. If you want to manually compact and repair a database that is open, click on File tab, click on Info, click on Compact and Repair Database. Access automatically closes and reopens your database. You can also select the Database Tools tab on the ribbon and choose the Compact and Repair Database command. It is a quick option for updating the loaded ribbons list. It has the added benefit of keeping your database compacted. You can manually compact and repair a database that is not open. This is generally useful when you cannot directly open an Access database. Make sure no other users are currently using the database file. Click on File. Click on Close to close the current database. To use database tools in Ribbon without having a database open, on the Templates page, double-click on Blank Database and close it. Now select Database Tools. Click on Compact and Repair Database. In Database to Compact from dialog box, navigate to Folder and select the database that you want to compact and repair. Click on Compact. Compact Database into dialog box opens, where the file name is populated with the database name. If you want to replace the selected database with the compacted database, select that database and click on Save. Confirm Save As message box opens, asking if you want to replace the database. Click on S to replace or No to create a copy. Click on No. Enter a different name and click on Save. The Access creates a copy of the compacted and repaired database in the same location. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.